everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we're going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve d square minus 4d plus 4 into y equals 3 power 2x into x plus 1 whole square. So firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative here. d square is the highest derivative, so our order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is the degree. Degree is 1. Or just write the given differential equation as d square y, d square y minus 4 dy plus 4 y equals to e power 2 x into x plus 1 whole square. We know that d is a differential operator. Then d square will be d square by dx square. Now we can write the equation as d square y by dx square minus 4 into dy by dx plus 4y equals to e power 2x into x plus 1 whole square. Here d square y by dx square is the highest derivative so our order will be 2 and highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation d square minus 4d plus 4 into y equals to e power 2x into x plus 1 whole square, which is an operator form. f of d to y equals to q, where f of d equals to d square minus 4d plus 4. And q equals to e power 2x into x plus 1 whole square. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Where yc is a complementary function and yp is particular integral. We will find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by putting RHS to 0 we will get f of d into y equals to 0 which is our homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation and we will find yp using 1 by f of d into q. Right? So let's start with yc. We are going to find complementary function using the auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. The auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d equals to d square minus 4d plus 4 let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 4m plus 4 now our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4m plus 4 equals to 0 right we can write minus 4m as minus 2 into m into 2 and this 4 as 2 square. This is of a square minus 2ab plus b square and expansion of a minus b whole square. So we can write the equation as m minus 2 whole square equals to 0. Now we can write m minus 2 whole square as m minus 2 into m minus 2. Here m minus 2 is repeating twice. Equate each factor to 0. From m minus 2 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 2. Since m minus 2 is repeating twice, so we'll get m equals to 2, 2. Here m equals to 2 and 2 are equal roots. Equal roots of our auxiliary equation. Therefore, m equals to 2, 2 are the roots of f of m equals to 0 on auxiliary equation which are equal. We know that when two roots say m1 and m2 are equal then yc will be since two roots are equal so we will get only two terms under brackets into e power that equal root into x. Now coming to complementary function of our problem.
y c equals to c1 plus c2 x into e power that equal root into x which is equals to c1 plus c2 x into e power 2x which is a complementary function. Now let's find particular integral. We can find particular integral using yp equals to 1 by f of d into q we have f of d and q where f of d equals to d square minus 4d plus 4 and q is e power 2x into x plus 1 whole square. So this is all 1 by f of d into e power ax into some v form. We'll shift e power ax towards left by replacing this d by d plus a. Right? So compare 1 by f of d e power 2x into v with 1 by f of d power a is into v. So for a equals to 2, we'll find d plus a, which is d plus 2. Now shift e power 2x towards left, we'll get e power 2x into 1 by, replace d by d plus 2, we'll get d plus 2 whole square, minus 4 into d plus 2, plus 4, into x plus 1, whole square is equals to e power 2x into 1 by expand d plus 2 whole square using a a plus b whole square formula d square plus 2 square 4 plus 2 to the 4d minus 4d minus into plus minus 4 to the 8 plus 4 into x plus 1 whole square plus 4d minus 4d gets cancelled 4 plus 4, 8. 8 minus 8 is 0, right? This is equal to e power 2x into 1 by d square. Plus 4 plus 4 is plus 8. Minus 8 into x plus 1 whole square. Here plus 8 minus 8 gets cancelled. Then yp becomes e power 2x into 1 by d square into x plus 1 whole square. Now we need to find integration of x plus 1 whole square. Now split 1 by d square as 1 by d into 1 by d into x plus 1 whole square. You know that d is a differential operator and 1 by d is integral operator. So first we will find integral of x plus 1 whole square which is x plus 1 integral x plus 1 whole square into dx. By 2 plus 1 right and here we have coefficient of x is 1 right fine equals to e power 2x into 1 by d into x plus 1 power 3 by 3. Now take 1 by 3 towards left. We will get e power 2x by 3 into 1 by d into x plus 1 whole cube. Again, find integral x plus 1 whole cube here. Which is equal to e power 2x by 3 into x plus 1 power 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 which is equals to e power 2x by 3 into x plus 1 power 4 by 4 then yp becomes e power 2x by 3 fours are 12 or e power 2x into x plus 1 whole power 4 by 12 we got yc and yp, so we can write the general solution here. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. 
then y equals to y c we are having c one plus c two x into e power two x plus y p e power two x into x plus one whole power four by twelve. This completes a problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.